to be here. I sincerely mean it. I have a wife and two small children at home. Actually, being anywhere but there is heaven. <laughs> I have no peace. Before you have kids, you have peace. You go out in the world and people beat on you and give you the finger and just curse at you. And then you can get home and it's like, oh, thank God I'm home. I can rest. For me, it's the total opposite. I get home, I try and sleep, people are poking me in the eyes. I try and watch TV, they're yelling that it's not their show. I lock myself in the bathroom, in the bathroom, and they bang on the door. And normal people, you perhaps, if I did not open the door, you would think, oh, he's busy, I'll come back later. No, they get down on the ground, two eyeballs looking up at you, the other one wiggling fingers back and forth. And then the worst, when the cat paw comes through. <laughs> it's an awful place to live. They're terrible roommates, terrible roommates. If you don't have kids, imagine having a roommate that comes into your room, takes something you love, smashes it in front of you, and then walks out of the room. <laughs> then comes back, pees on it, and laughs in your face. I love this town, it's nice, you guys get to eat, and you don't get fat, how do you do it? You won't even tell, you're secretive. You're like, no, American, get fat, get fatter, we love you being fat. You're awful people. I go to the Cheesecake Factory in the United States. The Cheesecake Factory, this is a company that knows what America wants, don't they? Yeah, let's put factory right in the title. Let these fat tubelards think they can come sit at the end of a conveyor belt and have cheesecakes rammed right down their throats. Even the waiters are disgusted with our habits now. You notice at the end of the meal they ask, are you still working on that? Right, not if you enjoyed yourself. You still working on shoveling that into your fat pie hole? Yeah, I'll give you a doggy bag. We both know you don't have a dog, and if you did, you'd eat it. You ever notice the smaller the towns in America, the bigger the people? I was in Paducah, Kentucky. Oh my God. It was like dinosaurs were roaming the earth. Everywhere I went, they asked you the same question. You want cheese on that? And when you want the cheese on it, you don't say yes or no. You gotta answer the way they answer. You say, you know I do. Yeah, it's code word, it means we're all on the same page. You want cheese on that? I ain't no queer, you know I do. <laughs> they had bacon cheeseburger soup. <laughs> they beat the crap out of a bacon cheeseburger, put hot water on it, here you go, fatso. Enjoy something from the diet menu. The weirdest thing they have are these giant stuffed potatoes filled with bacon snouts and cheese and all this bizarre stuff. The weirdest one, I swear to God, had marshmallows and caramel sauce in a potato as one of your sides. This wouldn't make sense if you were stoned at the country fair and your friend came running up, look what I found. They're selling them by the Ferris wheel, go. Get the cheese on it. I'm trying though, I'm trying. I went to a, for a checkup, go, I didn't even have a doctor. I didn't even have one. My friend turns me on to his. I get there, the doctor's a big fat load. It's like, you shouldn't look like Superman, but you should look better than your patients, you know what I mean? He's like, how much do you smoke a month? I said, I don't smoke. What are you, pussy? <laughs> then he told me my cholesterol was high, I should go on the Lipitor. I'm like, I don't wanna go on the Lipitor. How about diet and exercise? Yeah, that don't work. And I'm trying, it's so humiliating when you go back to the gym, isn't it? Because everyone there knows you haven't been there in 10 years. They're all in their Nike high-tech gear. You walk in in jeans and pink leg warmers, <laughs> big red, white, and blue headband, doing stretches that nobody does anymore. <laughs> making noises on the treadmill that nobody else is making. <sighs> you literally sound like a whale, like a sad whale. <sighs> And you hear from the other side of the gym, <laughs> some other lard ass. Now you're communicating.
My wife hates that joke. She thinks it's mean to the whales. <laughs> She's a vegetarian. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> I know. But to be fair, I was a vegetarian when we first started dating, and then we slept together, and then I wasn't again. <laughs> we almost got divorced over an order of lobsters. These people sent me this live lobster feast. You know, you open up, they come out like this. My wife freaks out. She's like, you're not gonna kill these lobsters with a knife in front of your daughter. I said, no, 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 no. I'm gonna put some water in a pot and I'm gonna boil it and then I'm gonna drop them in and they're not gonna like it. They're gonna clank around a lot and they're gonna try and get out, but don't worry, I'll hold the lid down tight. And they're gonna clank, clank, clank. And when the clanking stops, we eat. Not happy. But you gotta sacrifice, you know? You gotta compromise when you're in a relationship like that. I go to vegan restaurants with her. You ever try that? You ever go to a vegan restaurant? No, nobody, well, one person. Cause it's a bummer of a night. You wanna celebrate life? You go to a steakhouse. It's exciting, people are filled with life, beer and wine, ha ha ha! Slashing each other with knives, blood dripping off your chin. Everybody's laughing, just pounding the tables, ha 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 ha! You get to a vegan restaurant, nobody's laughing. They're so weak, they don't even have the breath. <laughs> they can't even lift the fake buffalo wing made of tofu and bark nuggets up to their mouths. <laughs> My wife loves animals though, loves them. She's got two cats, loves them to death. One's healthy, one's diabetic. Yeah, diabetic cat. That, that term didn't even exist 10 years ago. That was just called new cat. <laughs> the other one, healthy cat, that's not even a healthy animal. All a cat does is eat and then almost throw up all day long. It's just ka ka ka. Would you ever hang out with a human being that did this? Ever? That was a really good meal. Oh. I'm good, I'm good. You wanna to go to the movies? I was thick. <laughs> That's the healthy one. <laughs> the other one, $3,000 to find out it's a diabetic cat. $3,000. And when they bring it back, it's not a healthy cat. It's a diabetic cat. We have to give it shots of insulin in its neck two times a day. Put pills on the end of a stick, shove it down its throat, fire them in there. It's biting and pissing on us. I wouldn't do this to keep my wife alive. I wouldn't. I'd be like, baby, we had a good run. We really did. I don't want to remember you this way. Get in the carrier. We're going for a ride. Thank you all very much. Enjoy the rest of your night. Coming up.